what is the Fourier transform of the signal? Of the signal y of t equal to t, where t is from minus 1 less than or equal to t less than or equal to 1. So, this t exists from minus 1 to 1. This I am treating as the y of t equal to t. This is nothing but a straight line of the form y equal to mx, which slope is equal to 1. So, the signal is from minus 1 to infinity. This is to be just like this, passing through the origin. And now, uh, this is to be, I am going to multiply this with the, with the Pulse of amplitude is equal to 1 and exists from minus 1 to 1, minus 1 to 1 because of the 0 of B1 is minus 1 to 1. This will become the signal will become of this like this. The signal will be of exist up to 1 and minus 1 only. This is the meaning of the given signal y of t. This is the meaning of the given signal y of t is equal to t. So now this is uh, so inherently they ask you to calculate the they ask you to calculate the Fourier transform of the signal like the Fourier transform of the given signal like this y of t it is your standard rectangular pulse only this is your standard rectangular pulse only whose uh, Fourier transform is equal to sigma conjugate this as f of t i am treating this as f of t for f of t the corresponding Fourier transform is equal to area area is nothing but 2 in area is nothing but 2 into sampling of omega into width by 2 width by 2 is equal to 1 so this is 2 into sampling of omega but we require to calculate the Fourier transform of t into f of t the corresponding Fourier transform of t into x of t is equal to 2j into d by d omega of sampling of omega this can be represented as 2j into d by d omega of sin omega divided by omega sin omega by omega the corresponding is 2j into sin omega sin omega is cos omega into omega minus sin omega divided by omega square divided by omega square this is the corresponding Fourier transform of the given signal y of t equal to t which is exists from minus 1 to which is from minus 1 to 1 or this is simple u by v derivation derivation of u by v is equal to derivation of u by v equal to u dash into v minus u dash into v minus v into minus u into v dash divided by v square divided by v square that's it the direct that form now only. So, if the signal is given like this, whenever they give a the distance of the signal in the particular limits, always try to think with the, always try to think with the rectangular pulse of being amplitude, which is exist from the, exist in the given limits, exist in the given limits. Again, this topic will appear, again we will see in the communication system, at the modulation of the AM signal and the DSP, AM, AM signal and the DSP signal, at that time we will approximate these signals, at that, at that time we will approximate into the uh, periodic pulse strength, periodic pulse strength we will see later. So, so please remember, remember this concept, but remember this concept, the, uh, whenever the limits are given, we have to represent the corresponding y of t multiply with the rectangular pulse with the, within the limit they have given with unit with the unit amplitude with the unit amplitude next next filters filters first one is the low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter band stop filter or band reject filter all pass filter and your notch filter Never notch filter and notch filter and low pass filter. You see, all the filters are of the two types ideal and the practical. Ideal and the practical. Ideal and the practical. Now, we will discuss with the low pass filter. Low pass filter is nothing but it allows the frequencies up to certain frequency. After that, it's after that, reject the frequency. After that, reject the frequencies. The corresponding frequency up to which. 0 the frequencies are called the cutoff frequency minus fc and this guy this is called the pass band and this is called the stop band this is called the stop band this is for the ideal low pass filter the filters are the two types ideal and the practical if you consider the ideal ideal which is your pass band this is uniform amplitude to consider is a 1 or a whatever 1 or a they will give you so in the pass band in the, in the pass band is the, 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 the amplitude is uniform well, which is constant and the strong band the amplitude is equal to 0 the amplitude is equal to 0 so it allows frequencies only up to certain frequency which is called the cutoff frequency which is called the cutoff frequency or higher cutoff frequency of the signal a higher cutoff frequency of the signal for practical low pass filter now, now, now coming to what is the bandwidth of the signal bandwidth is equal to simply bandwidth is equal to simply fc minus of minus fc 
which is equal to 2FC or FC minus 0 is equal to FC which one is correct, second one is correct, first one is wrong. While bandwidth calculation, we will consider only positive frequencies, we will consider only positive frequencies, so first one is wrong. And second one, coming to the practical low cost filter, this practical low cost filter is of the, of the like this. The characteristic of this practical low cost filter is of like this. Up to some frequency you call as FC, some frequency you call as FC, this is minus FC, this corresponding is called a pass band and the corresponding variable is reaches to zero that is called as a stop band and the region between this is called the transition band, this is called the transition band. This is called the transition band. In this stop is the vertical low pass filter. This is a this is a vertical low pass filter. What is the bandwidth of the signal? Bandwidth of the signal is equal to ideal, ideal bandwidth of the signal is equal to infinity minus zero, which is equal to infinity, which is equal to infinity. And in that cases we will consider we will consider we will consider the 3 dB bandwidth for calculation of the bandwidth. 3 dB bandwidth we will consider for the calculation. Here the topic is the difference difference of this. Uh, ideal low pass filter is the practical low pass filter. Ideal low pass filter means there is a sharp cut off frequency. Ideal low pass filter means they have in the sharp cut off frequency, but in the in the practical low pass filter, it is not having the sharp cut off frequency. It is not having the sharp cut off frequency. And in the pass band, this amplitude is the uniform. And in the pass band, the amplitude is not going to be uniform. And in the stop band, amplitude is definitely equal to zero. And in the stop band, this amplitude never will be zero. It almost reaches to zero. Almost reaches to zero, and the bandwidth here is equal to simply FC. In the practical, in the practical low pass filter, the bandwidth can be treated as a bandwidth is equal to infinity minus zero. It is always infinity. And that case is how can you calculate? We will see. How can you calculate the bandwidth of the low pass filter? Bandwidth of the practical low pass filter. We will see. As here the practical low pass filter, RC RC filter can be RC filter can be acted as a practical low pass filter. This is R, and this is your C. Here you have to consider the output and here you will provide the home input whose value is equal to x of t, whose value is equal to x of t or x of omega or whatever x of omega I am considering as and output is equal to your y of omega and the impulse response of this filter is impulse response of this filter is h of omega is equal to simply y of omega divided by x of omega, y of omega divided by x of omega what is this y of omega? this y of omega is equal to simply c this capacity is equal to corresponding impedance is equal to 1 by j omega c corresponding impedance is equal to 1 by j omega c now y of omega is equal to x of omega divided by using the voltage in general x of omega into 1 by j omega c divided by r plus 1 by j omega c upon doing we will get h of omega is equal to 1 by 1 plus j of j omega r c 1 by 1 plus j omega r c 1 by 1 plus j omega r c and this they will write as the 1 by 1 plus j omega by omega c and this omega c is equal to 1 by r c they will call this omega c is equal to 1 by r c 1 by r c and this situation which of omega is having the both magnitude of the phase the corresponding magnitude of this one is equal to corresponding magnitude of magnitude of this one is equal to 1 by 1 plus omega by omega c whole square with square root r is equal to 1 by 1 plus omega square r c square with square root r c square with square root and the angle of this h of omega is equal to simply minus tan inverse omega by omega c minus tan inverse omega by omega c or minus tan inverse omega r c right like this also you can say minus tan inverse omega by omega c now 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 what is the bandwidth of the signal, what is the magnitude, what is the spectrum of the signal, magnitude spectrum of the signal is equal to magnitude spectrum of this signal is equal to at omega equal to 0, this value is equal to 1, at omega equal to this value is equal to 1, at omega going to infinity, this value is going to be 0, not exactly 0, going to be 0, the magnitude spectrum is like this. Magnitude spectrum of this one is like this. What is the bandwidth of this practical low pass filter? Bandwidth is equal to simply infinity minus, in, minus 0, which is equal to infinity. The uh, practical bandwidth of this one is equal to infinity. In that cases, we will go for the calculation of the 3 dB bandwidth. Go for the calculation of the 3 dB bandwidth. 3 dB bandwidth is the frequency, the frequency at which the amplitude reduces to 1 by root 2 times of the maximum amplitude, 1 by root 2 times of the maximum amplitude. The frequency at which the magnitude h of omega at omega equal to omega c I am treating as at omega equal to at omega, at omega, at omega equal to some omega c I am treating at omega, omega c I am treating which is the amplitude of the signal is reduced to h of omega 
the maximum value of this h of omega which is integration omega equal to 0 to 1 by root 2 1 by root 2 to 1 by root 2 that is nothing but that is nothing but amplitude in the frequency at which amplitude reduced by 3 dB amplitude reduced by 3 dB so called so called this is the so called this is the 3 dB 3 dB bandwidth not only amplitude reduced by 1 by root 2 as power is equal to simply amplitude square that is nothing but power or energy power or energy is nothing but 1 by 2 times of the maximum energy or maximum power maximum energy or maximum power so call this can be called as a 3 dB bandwidth or 50 percent energy bandwidth 50 percent energy bandwidth or half power frequencies or half power bandwidth this also called as the 50 percent energy bandwidth the 50 percent energy bandwidth or half power half power bandwidth or half power bandwidth means the, the frequency the power will becomes 1 by 2 of the maximum power or this is called the 3dB bandwidth this is the frequency at which the amplitude reduces to 1 by root 2 times of the maximum amplitude 1 by root 2 times of the maximum amplitude so what is the value of magnitude, magnitude at h of omega at omega equal to 0 at omega equal to value is equal to 1 and we have to calculate the corresponding amplitude at omega equal to omega c the corresponding amplitude is equal to simply 1 by square root of 1 by square root of 1 plus rc whole square into the omega will become omega c omega c whole square which is equal to 1 by root 2 from this you can write 1 plus rc whole square into omega c square is equal to 2 from this rc into whole square into omega square is equal to 1 and corresponding omega c is equal to 1 by rc 1 by rc this is your 3 dB bandwidth omega c equal to 1 by rc you can call at omega equal to 1 by rc this amplitude will reduce to root is to 1 by root 2 times of the maximum value that is 1 by root 2 the corresponding is minus 1 by rc so this can be called as a 3 dB frequency or 3 dB bandwidth now bandwidth of 3 dB bandwidth is equal to simply 1 by rc minus 0 which is equal to 1 by rc which is called the omega c omega c which is the cutoff frequency 3 dB cutoff frequency also we can call also we can call up to this up to this 3 dB it acts as a pass band and after that and the transition band and after something it almost reaches to zero the corresponding value is called the corresponding region is called the stop band corresponding region is your stop band so practical law of filter if you find if you in your question the given the the input signal is passed through a ideal low pass filter then you have to consider ideal low pass filter with some cutoff frequency they will give you with some cutoff frequency they will give you so simply you have to consider a rectangular pulse rectangular pulse with the frequency with the a range is equal to from minus omega c to omega c otherwise if they give you in the question they will give you the input signal is passing through here from rc rc low pass filter with the value of rc with the values of r and c they will provide you at that time you have to consider the corresponding omega c equal to 1 by rc and the region is from minus omega c to minus omega c to omega c if they did not mention any values of r and c or anything if they uh, uh, input signal if also through a practical low pass filter practical low pass filter what is the energy of output signal what is the energy of output signal if they ask for then at that case you have to consider the throughout the limits from minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity without mentioning about the omega c value in the question we have to consider the throughout the region from minus infinity to infinity for example write down a question in the signal e power minus t into u of t the signal e to the power minus t into u of t is passing through a low ideal low pass filter it passes through a ideal low pass filter with cutoff frequency is equal to 1 radian per second with cutoff frequency is equal to 1 radian per second then what is the energy of the what is the energy of the output of the low pass filter they, what is the energy of the output of the low pass filter what is the given the signal of input signal e to the power minus t into u of t is passed to apply through a low, ideal low pass filter is applied through a ideal low pass filter with cutoff frequency omega c equal to 1 radian per second omega c is equal to 1 radian per second they have given ok omega c one radian per second so the characteristics of this is equal to simply from minus omega c to omega c omega c whose amplitude is equal to 1 you can consider ideal low pass filter nothing but whose amplitude is equal to 1 whose amplitude is equal to 1 and from minus omega c to omega c this value is from minus 1 to 1 so this is equal to this is from minus 1 to 1 the corresponding signal is the y of t is the output y of t is the corresponding output right corresponding output right now the output y of t equal to simply convolution of the 
convolution of the input and the input customer system that is x of t convolution with to h of t x of t convolution with to with to h of t there is nothing but y of omega is equal to x of omega into h of omega here h of omega is equal to 1 up to minus 1 to up to minus 1 to 1 minus 1 to 1 so your signal e power minus t of t having the um, amplitude is equal to 1 by 1 plus j omega operator sum of this e power minus t of t is 1 by 1 plus j omega 1 by 1 plus j omega into h of omega is equal to 1 for the limits minus 1 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to 1 it is equal to up to minus 1 less than or equal to omega less than or equal to 1 only what they ask for the energy of the signal u by of t so energy of the signal is equal to simply 1 by 2 pi into area under the nature is nothing but magnitude of y of omega whole square from minus infinity to infinity. But here we have this signal is passing through a low pass filter which exists the limits from minus 1 to 1 only. Now what is the magnitude of this y of omega? Magnitude of this y of omega is equal to 1 by 1 plus square omega square with square root. The corresponding ESD is equal to corresponding ESD is equal to 1 by 1 plus omega square. Now we have to calculate the energy. The corresponding energy is equal to simply 1 by 2 pi into simply 1 by 2 pi into integration minus 1 to 1 1 by 1 plus omega square d omega. Whenever the limits are limits are like this minus a to a. In that situation, first of all, you have to verify whether the even function is the even function or odd function. If the odd function directly will be zero. If given is the even function, so this can be represented as 1 by 2 pi integral 0 to 1, 2 into 1 by 1 plus omega square d omega. What is the integration of 1 by 1 plus omega square? Which is equal to tan inverse omega. Which is equal to tan inverse omega limits are from 0 to 1 so this value is equal to 1 by pi into tan inverse of 1 is nothing but pi divided by 4 so this is equal to 1 by 4 joules 1 by 4 joules this value is equal to 1 by 4 joules alright like that we have to calculate suppose if they uh, suppose if they did not mention anything did not mention anything anything about the uh, about the omega c and ideal low pass filter like this the signal is passed through a low pass filter low pass filter practical rc uh, practical rc low pass filter whose rc values are they will provide you at that situation depending on the values of rc you have to consider the corresponding pdp value to omega c equal to 1 by rc and you have to take the limits from minus omega c to minus omega c to omega and bt and the signal x of t equal to P to the power minus 2 pi bt. P to the power minus 2 pi bt is given as an input to the ideal low pass filter. Is given as an input to the ideal low pass filter whose frequency characteristics are given by like this with cutoff frequency b. Whose frequency characteristics are given by are given by that the corresponding output y of t. Corresponding output y of t. What is the corresponding? Corresponding output y of t, they are asking what is the uh, corresponding output is y of t, then the question is that the energy of the signal, then energy of x of t minus y of t whole square is. Or they ask me what is the value of this one. What is the value of this one? The thing about energy of x of t minus y of t. Right. Energy equal to simple x square of t dt only. This is the question they have given. X of t they have given as the input is equal to e power minus 2 by bt simple question already we have done this question okay already we have done this question here we have three types of questions so i am considering these three types of questions at the same time so um, e to power minus 2 by bt is given as the ideal low pass filter whose frequency characteristics are given by minus b to 1 and the amplitude is equal to 1 and y of t y of t listen listen we have two three types of filter what are those ideal low pass filter ideal low pass filter means they will give you some cutoff frequency definitely like this so, so this is equal to minus fc to fc corresponding amplitude is equal to 1 and second one the second one is the practical low pass filter practical low pass filter means actually critical value is equal to infinity already we have seen critical value is equal to infinity 3 dp value is equal to fc then in the questions if they did not mention anything about the cutoff frequency you have to consider the limits are from minus infinity to infinity the limits are from minus infinity to infinity this is the pass band transition band and stop band the limits are to be from minus infinity to infinity in question if they mention the practical low pass filter with 3 dB cutoff frequency with the 3 dB cutoff frequency or with the tricks on cutoff frequency fc at that situation you have to consider the limits are from uh, limits are from you at that situation you have to consider the limits are from 
Where to where? Minus Fc2, minus Fc, Fc2 minus Fc. Fc2 minus Fc, that situation, that Fc is equal to what? 1 by 2 pi Rc, 1 by 2 pi Rc, or omega c equal to 1 by Rc, omega c equal to 1 by Rc. This produces a practical loop of splitter actually. Well, from a transfer function equal to 1 by 1 plus j, f by fc only, 1 by, uh, 1, by 1 plus j, fc, f by fc only. If they did not, or they did not mention anything about the cutoff frequency, at that situation, in the output while doing the integration or convolution, you have to consider from minus infinity to infinity. If they mention about the cutoff frequency, about the PDB cutoff frequency, at that situation, you have to consider from minus fc, d, fc only. If they given the ideal loop of splitter with the corresponding cutoff frequency, in that case, we have to consider the given cutoff frequency as minus b to b only. Only, as minus p to b only, right? This type of equations only may, uh, may expect with respect to ideal low pass filter point of view, the confusion only with respect to the limits only. In some questions, they will take minus infinity infinity. In some questions, they will take minus omega c to omega c because in the question they will clearly mention, they will clearly mention about the about the PDB cutoff frequency. At that situation, you have to consider that Fc to Fc with Fc equal to clearly if you want 1 by 2 by Rc, no need to consider that 1 by 2 by Rc also. If you if they given in the practical Rc low pass filter with the values of R and C as so and so, at that situation the corresponding Fc is equal to 1 by 2 by Rc. If you want, you can calculate, you can you can consider now. Now, in this is the question, we are having the input x of t is given as an input x of t is given as input to this ideal low pass filter whose frequency conditions are given by minus b to b and they are asking what is the value of minus infinity infinity x of t minus y of t whole scale dt. Now, first of all, we will look, we will simplify this one. This, is, this can be represented as minus infinity infinity x square of t dt x square of t dt plus minus infinity 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 y square of t dt y square of t dt minus 2 into integration minus infinity infinity x of t into y of t dt x of t into y of t dt this is simply a minus b x a minus b whole square expression only got it clear simply this is a minus b expression only now already we know we know what minus infinity infinity y square of t dt this is your energy of energy of input signal only this is your energy of input signal only and this is your energy of the output signal only energy of the output signal only whose value is equal to simply simply minus infinity to infinity minus infinity infinity we can call this equal to y square of f df y square of f df right y square of f df and this value can be represented as the 2 into integration minus infinity to infinity 2 into integration minus infinity infinity this is, this is equal to x of f into y of minus f df y of minus f df but we can, if you want we can do the simple analysis simple analysis by substituting the values except already we have done the derivation in the Fourier, Fourier transform properties the Fourier transform properties at that situation in this situation here the y square of t is nothing but y of f into y of minus f y of f into minus y of minus f which is equal to y of f into y star of f which is equal to magnitude of y of f whole square magnitude of y of f whole square from that point of view only i have written this one okay we have to remember this formula this is good many times in the random variables also this will appear in random variables also this will appear okay remember now now come into this one come into our output y of t what is your output y of t y of t is nothing but simply the ideal low pass filter with the magnitude is equal to 1 only with the magnitude is, magnitude is equal to 1 only the corresponding frequency corresponding y of t they are asking here equal to x of f is equal to simply what, what 1 by 1 plus j 2 pi b 1 by 1 plus j 2 pi b e power minus e power minus at e power minus at format only 1 by 1 plus j omega right 1 by 1 plus j omega is equal to simply 1 by 1 plus j 2 pi b 2 pi 1 by 1 plus e to the power minus at u of t is equal to 1 by a plus j omega 1 by a plus j omega so in place of a is equal to 2 pi b plus j omega is equal to 2 pi f j omega is nothing but j 2 pi f it is given as input to input to this minor uh, input to this filter then what this is simply multiply this magnitude is multiplied and the corresponding range is from minus b to corresponding range is from minus b to b right minus b to b i am considering this as the y of f considering this as the y of f you want expression for minus infinity infinity y square of t minus infinity infinity y square of t these limits for simply changes to simply this output is equal to x of t only right here magnitude is equal to same only y output is equal to x of t only x of t only with that is y of f is equal to x of f only with the limits are from minus b to with the limits are from minus b to b this is f 
the limits are from minus b to b here the corresponding x of f is having the limits from minus infinity to infinity minus infinity to infinity here the limits are from this equal to 1 by what 1 by this equal to 1 by 2 by b plus j 2 pi f corresponding f limits are from minus infinity to infinity right minus infinity to infinity this is passing through the slope of filter the corresponding average is equal to 1 and it is take only this band only only this band only the corresponding limit changes to minus b to b x of y of f is equal to x of f only with the limits are from minus infinity to infinity limits are from minus infinity to infinity now what is the energy of this signal directly e power minus ad e of energy equal to 1 by 2a 1 by 2a so this will become 1 by 4 pi b this will become 1 by 4 pi b for e to the power minus ad e of t what is the energy of this signal integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus 2a t dt this value is equal to simply 1 by 2a similarly for this e power minus 2 pi b the corresponding energy equal to 1 by 4 pi b 1 by 4 pi b now what about this value this value is equal to same x of f only same x of f only but limits are from minus b to b limits are from minus b to b x of magnitude of x square of f whole square df whole square df what about this one this one is equal to y of minus f is equal to your x of f only your x of f only so x of minus f but limits are from minus b to b so this value is equal to 2 into integration minus b to b x of f into x of minus f df this is equal to 2 into integration minus b to b x of f whole square d of x of f whole square magnitude of x of f whole square df because x of minus f is equal to x star of f upon multiplication we have magnitude of x of f whole square so total value can be represented as the simply even integration minus infinity infinity x of f whole square df x of f whole square df plus integration minus b to b x of f whole square df minus 2 into integration minus b to b x of f whole square df x of f whole square df so from this you can write this value is corresponding is energy of the signal only energy of the ah, otherwise you can write this as a minus infinity to infinity x of f whole square for explanation point of view i am increasing the steps no need to write this much of steps also directly you can write minus infinity x of f whole square minus integration minus b to b x of f whole square df x of f whole square df this value you require to calculate this value you are required to calculate this value already you know first one already you know this is the energy of the signal only with energy of the signal is equal to 1 by 4 by b now what about this value what about this value already we have x of f is equal to you have x of f is equal to 1 by 2 pi 2 pi b plus 2 pi f corresponding magnitude of x of f is equal to equal to simply 1 by 4 pi square b square plus 4 pi square f square 4 pi square f square you want the integration of this one integration of this one from minus b to b integration of this one from minus b to b the corresponding integration what you will get 4 pi square as you have taken out 1 by 4 pi square into integration minus b to b 1 by b square plus f square df this is the format 1 by x square plus a square only whose, whose uh, different integration is equal to 1 by a tan inverse of x by a so this value is equal to 1 by 4 pi square into 1 by a that is nothing but 1 by b tan inverse of x by a that is nothing but f by b limits are from minus b to b limits are from minus b to b this value will become 1 by 4 pi square into 1 by b into tan inverse of b by b that is nothing but pi by 4 plus pi by 4 this is equal to pi by 2 plus pi by 4 this value is equal to pi by 2 this will get cancelled final value is equal to 1 by 8 pi b 1 by 8 pi b this is the value of this expression minus b to b x of f whole square and already we have 1 by 4 pi b total energy is equal to simply 1 by 4 pi b minus 1 by 8 pi b this value is equal to 1 by 4 pi b 1 by 4 pi b or minus 1 by 4 pi b what you will get this is equal to 1 by 4 pi b taken as a common 1 minus 1 by 2 is equal to 1 by 8 pi b 2 minus 1 is equal to 1 by 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 nothing is 1 by 4 minus 1 by 8 is equal to 1 by 4 into 1 minus 1 by 2 this value is equal to 1 by 8 that one I have 1 by 8 pi b this is the way this is the way of calculation in this question what we have what we have learned what we have learned but by considering the answer is not a matter what we have learned the signal is passed through ideal dope of filter so output is also input taken output output is also input signal only with limits are from minus b to b because of this ideal dope of filter limits are from minus b to b so directly you have to write it passes through this one the corresponding output is corresponding output is y of f is equal to x of f from minus b to b only and the expression we are much familiar with this one we integration minus infinity y square of t d equal to simply y square of f df what we are familiar we may not 
we may not concentrate on this one minus infinity infinity x of t into y of t dt but corresponding is equal to simply minus infinity infinity x of f into y of minus f df correspondingly from this after this one we have derived this one okay after this only first one we have derived integration x of t y of t equal to this one by substituting this y of t equal to x of f we have derived the formula for the energy we have derived the formula for the energy so the intermediate in this intermediate point we may remember we have to remember okay x of f y of minus f the corresponding is equal to if you have this one easily you can simply base equal to minus 2 so our answer is equal to uh, minus infinity to this one this is your integration only with the limits of from minus b to b limits of from minus b to b okay all right next one next one consider consider a signal e power minus a t u of t consider a signal e to the power minus a t u of t is given as an input to the e to the power minus a t u of t is given as an input to the low pass filter to the low pass filter nothing but not any low pass filter practical low pass filter you can treat e power minus a t u of t is given as an input to the low pass filter Whose output is having the fifty percent energy of the input? Whose output is having the fifty percent energy of the input? Whose output is of fifty percent energy of the input? Then what is the value of a by b? Then what is the value of a by b? Here input is equal to e power minus a t u of t is given to the low pass filter. Some low pass filter whose Frequency characteristics they have given. Whose frequency characteristics they have given? So you have to consider those those characteristics only. Okay. A magnetic vector omega equal to b divided by omega square plus b square they have given. B divided by omega square plus b square they have given. And the corresponding output having the energy which is fifty percent of the fifty percent of the input. Output y of t having the energy which is fifty percent of the energy of the signal x of t. 50% of the energy of the signal x of t. This type of question already we have done. Okay, that was very easy question. We have to uh, this, uh, we have to try to calculate this one. This is your x of t, whose energy is equal to e. The corresponding y of t having the energy, which is 50% of the input energy. So corresponding energy is equal to simply you can take e divided by 2. And corresponding energy into consider e divided by 2. And the uh, the filter characteristic they have given as b divided by square root of omega square plus b square. Then what is the relation between A and B they are asking? What is the relation between A and B they are asking? Indirectly, A by B is equal to how much? Or A by B is equal to how much they are asking? They are given the input energy and output energy by dividing both those two energies. We can get the relation. We can get the relation. Simple question only. Simple question only. You are having E power minus A T what is corresponding frequency spectrum is equal to corresponding frequency spectrum is equal to simply one divided by simply one divided by one uh, one by A. A 1 by a plus j omega. So 1 by 1 plus j omega. 1 by 1 plus j omega. This is your x of omega is equal to x of omega equal to what about the y of omega? What about the y of omega? They did not constant mention about the cutoff frequency or like that. They have some low pass filter. That frequency characteristics they have given. So you have to consider the frequencies from minus infinity to infinity. Frequencies from minus infinity to infinity. Minus infinity infinity. So the corresponding output of the signal y of omega is equal to integration minus infinity to infinity. Integration minus infinity to infinity. You need to consider. The consider. Then y of omega is equal to simply x of omega into h of omega. X of omega into h of omega. Right or wrong? So this value is equal to x of omega equal to one by one plus j omega into h of omega. H of omega magnitude they have given. So magnitude of y of omega I am writing. Magnitude of y of omega is equal to simply magnitude of this one. So one by square root of square root of y we already have considered. Y they have given. One by square root of y square plus omega square into magnitude of y of omega equal to b divided by square root of omega square plus b square. This is equal to y of omega. Y of omega. Now what you want? Here energy. This energy is equal to directly you know whose value is equal to one by two y. Value is equal to one by two y. The corresponding energy of this output signal. The output signal is equal to Energy of the output of the signal is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity infinity magnitude of y of omega whole square ESD property only 
9 of y of omega whole square d omega. So this value is equal to simply e over 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity to infinity integration minus infinity to infinity 1 by a square plus omega square 1 by a square plus omega square into b square divided by omega square plus b square d omega d omega for this purpose for calculation of this value purpose only I have taken this question okay I have taken this question only for two purposes one is that the lower spectra they have given the frequency the frequency characteristics whatever they have given do you have to consider and the corresponding frequencies from minus infinity to infinity you have to consider minus infinity to infinity you have to consider and for this energy of the signal is equal to minus infinity infinity this integration you have to calculate this integration you have to calculate for this integration purpose this is a very very important calculation this is also very very important calculation may useful many times in the auto correlation and the random variable calculations random variable calculations now listen observe this one this is of the consider this total as a single this total as a single function from g of omega this total as a some single function g of omega and this value is equal to 1 by 2 pi minus infinity infinity integration of g of omega integration minus infinity infinity g of omega d omega this value is equal to simply g of 0 only right this value is equal to simply g of 0 only area properties area properties f of 0 is equal to f of 0 is equal to 1 by 2 pi integration minus infinity infinity f of omega d omega f of omega d omega that property only not a new thing here now if you are in position to calculate the g of t by substituting t is equal to 0 directly you may get the value directly you may get the value right you may get the value this g of omega i am taking as a separate g of omega is equal to g of omega equal to 1 by a square plus omega square 1 by a square plus omega square into b square divided by omega square plus b square this is the g of omega i am considering i am considering again this has some this has a, some f of t this has some f of t and this has some uh, what some x of t over y of t over h of t over g of t over uh, some m of t and n of t i am considering some this is some m of some m of t this is some n of t the corresponding inverse Fourier transforms corresponding inverse Fourier transform here g of omega equal to multiplication so the corresponding g of t is equal to corresponding g of t equal to convolution of Convolution of m of t and n of t. Convolution of m of t and n of t. From this, we have to write the expression of g of 0. From this, we have to write the expression for the g of 0. Got it? Got it? I consider this total as the single expression g of omega. If you are in position to calculate the g of 0, then you can directly calculate the, you can directly calculate, you can directly, directly get the value energy equal to simply g of 0 only energy equal to. Right, g of 0 only. Now, this g of omega takes separating into the two parts, which is m of t and m, m of t and n of t. Okay, this much of this calculation is a very important reason. This m of t and n of t. So, this expression is equal to 1 by s k plus b k. Directly, you can write this m of t equal to by using the duality property m of t equal to what? If you multiply and divide with 2a, if you multiply and divide with 2a, this is a standard format only. 2a divided by s k plus omega square. What was the e for minus m of t? e to the power minus a mod t corresponding is equal to 2a divided by a square plus omega square 2 divided by a square plus omega square so directly you can write this as the 1 by 2a e to the power minus a mod t e to the power minus a mod t coming to this one what about this n of t this n of t also looking like this only separate this as two parts b into b separate this as two parts b into b one b i am writing here and multiply and divide with 2 multiplied by the 2 so this can be represented as b by 2 this can be represented as b by 2 e to the power minus b mod t already we have m of t which is equal to convolution of these two 1 by e power minus a mod t and b by 2 e to the power minus b mod t how can you do the convolution of this one do the convolution of this one again these calculations are important intermediate calculations are important each and every intermediate calculation is on two most question for this question each and every intermediate calculation is the this g of t is the convolution of these two only. What you want is the g of 0. g of 0 is equal to g of 0 you want, right? This convolution you can represent this as the minus infinity to infinity. Minus infinity to infinity 1 by 2a e to the power minus a mod t into e to the power uh, b by 2 e to the power minus b of t minus tau. Minus b of mod of t minus tau d tau. This is your signal. But you want is the g of 0 which is equal to energy of the signal y of t. Energy of the signal y of t this g of 0 is equal to g of 0 is equal to simply b by 4a b by 4a integration minus infinity to infinity e to the power minus a e to the power minus a into minus a tau here it is tau it is so minus a mod tau 
into e to the power minus b of minus mod tau d tau minus mod tau d tau. This value only you have. Okay, clear. This value only you have. Clear. Since t is equal to 0 by substituting, we have when b of t minus b mod of t minus tau mod of t minus tau. This you will get. E to the power minus a mod tau it is e to the power minus a mod tau it is and you have e to the power minus b mod s of minus tau mod s of minus tau this can be represented as the e power minus b mod tau e power minus b mod tau I am going to separate in this in this infinity is this infinity is because we are having the modulus minus infinity to zero we have e to the power a tau we have e to the power a tau into e to the power b tau so modulus of minus tau equal to mod modulus of tau only this we can represent b tau d tau b tau d tau minus integration of plus integration of 0 to infinity e to the power minus a tau into e to the power minus b tau d tau into e to the power minus b tau d tau so this can be represented here is equal to modulus of minus x equal to modulus of x only this modulus of x is the even here modulus of x is of the even signal modulus of minus tau can be represented as the modulus of tau only so this value is equal to simply b by 4 a into b by 4 a into what about this one e power a plus b into tau upon doing the integration we have 1 by a plus b we have 1 by a plus b e power 0 is equal and e power minus infinity is 0 plus so e power minus of a plus b into tau upon doing the integration minus 1 by a plus b into e power minus e power 0 minus e power minus infinity is 0 minus e power 0 which is equal to 1 so this will get into 1 by a plus b 1 by a plus b so this is equal to 2b divided by 4a into a plus b 2b divided by 4a into a plus b this is the energy of the signal y of e y of t what is the energy of the signal e x of t already we are having 1 by 2a and we are having 1 by 2a so e 1 by 2a and this energy is equal to simply e by 2 this is equal to 1 by 4a this is equal to 1 by 4a from the given condition energy of the y of t is equal to 50 percent of the energy of the input signal equal to e by 2 the corresponding is equal to 1 by 4a so you can indicate this to equal to 1 by 4a equal to 2b divided by 4a into a plus b 2 divided by 4a into a plus b 4a 4a gets cancelled and this value is equal to a plus b equal to 2b and this from this we can get the relation a by b a equal to b the corresponding a by b equal to 1 you have corresponding a by b equal to 1 you have what you have actually the gate point of view this total question they will never ask you this much of question this intermediate questions are very very important here energy of the signal for one more question okay one more question of writing the output of the signal the two mass question writing the output of the signal as the two mass question here the calculation of this calculation of this expression Calculation of this expression is one two mass cosine. One two mass cosine. After that, calculation of this convolution. Calculation of this convolution one more two mass cosine. Okay, this intermediate, all these intermediate, intermediate steps are one two mass cosine only. So be careful about this question. Try to solve this question two or three times. Two or three times and remember these all these points. Remember all these points. For that purpose only, I have given to you. This is already appeared in gate previous earlier in nineties. In 90s, as a 5 mass question or 8 mass question like that. Consider the signal x of t equal to 3 sin pi f naught t plus 5 mass 3 pi f naught t is given as an input to the low mass filter, given as input to the low mass filter, whose uh, low, uh, practical low mass filter is cut off frequency is equal to f naught, practical low mass filter is cut off frequency is equal to f naught, practical low mass filter with cut off frequency is equal to practical low mass RC filter we can call, practical low mass RC filter with cut off frequency is equal to f naught. If not, then calculate the power of the input signal and the output signal. Calculate the power of the input signal and the output signal they are asking. Given the signal is a periodic signal, though they are concentrating about the power. Power of the input and output. In earlier, the input signals are the energy signals, though they were concentrated on the energy. They were concentrated on the energy. Here is the power signal, this so they ask uh, periodic signal or power signal. So they are asking about the power of the input signal and the power of the output signal. Here the important what we have to get is they, they did not mention anything about the transfer transfer characteristics of the filter in the instead of instead they have given this is a practical low pass RC filter. Low pass RC filter means immediately you have to write the corresponding frequency is equal to corresponding H of F is equal to 1 by 1 plus j f by f naught, j f by f naught, where f naught here f naught is the cut off frequency they have given, which is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc, which is equal to 1 by 2 pi rc, 1 by 2 pi rc. Now from this the magnitude is magnitude is equal to simply is equal to 1 by 1 plus f by f naught whole square with the square root and the base is equal to minus tan inverse of minus tan inverse of f by f naught. Now the signal the, the signal x of t given as input to this one the output is equal to simply 3 into magnitude into sin of pi f naught t plus pi plus 5 into magnitude into cos of 3 pi f naught 3 pi f naught t plus pi f naught t plus pi. So this angle this is the here equal to omega naught the corresponding frequency f is equal to 
टू बाई बाई फाइव ऑफ बाई अपना विच इज इक्वल टू टू हाउ मच टू बाई एफ इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ नॉट एफ इज इक्वल टू ओमेगा बाई टू बाई इज इक्वल टू फाइव ऑफ नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई टू बाई दिस वैल्यू इज इक्वल टू एफ नॉट बाई टू पाने को दिस वन कॉस्पोंडिंग दिस कॉस्पोंडिंग एफ इज इक्वल टू थ्री एफ नॉट डिवाइडेड बाई टू थ्री एफ नॉट divided by 2 so this magnitude is equal to magnitude of this filter and the frequency f is equal to f not by 2 and the frequency f is equal to f not by 2 so this value will become 3 into square root of 1 by 1 plus f not by 2 f not by 2 is nothing but simply 1 by 4 1 plus 1 by 1 by square root of 1 plus 1 by 4 into sin of pi of t sin of pi of t f not t Plus pi. What about the pi? This pi is equal to minus tan inverse of f by f naught. We are equating equal to f naught by two. So this value is equal to minus tan inverse of one by two. For power calculation, don't bother about the base. For the expression, I am writing. So this is equal to five into what about the magnitude here? This is equal to three f naught by two. So this value will become one by one plus nine by four. One by one plus nine by four with the square root. Nine by four with the square root. So into cos of three pi f naught t. 3 pi of not t plus pi. What is the pi? Pi is equal to minus tan inverse of 3 by 2. Minus tan inverse of 3 by 2. This value equal to minus tan inverse of 3 by 2. From this, easily you can calculate the power. What is the power of input signal here? Power of input signal is equal to simply h square by 2. 9 by 2 plus 25 by 2, which is equal to 34 by 2. Whose value is equal to 17? 34 by 2. Whose value is equal to 17? 17. Now here also, you are simply after doing the simplification, this value will become what 6 by root 5 into sine of something plus sine of something plus 10 divided by root 13 into cos of something cos of something. From this power is equal to simply h square by 2 that is divided by 10 plus 100 divided by 26. Whatever the answer you will get, that will be the final output power. Here the important is the only one thing. Everything you know, we have to identify from the practical the, the, from the from the statement radical loop of filter radical loop of filter. We have to identify the corresponding. We have to identify the corresp uh, corresponding. Transfer function is h of f equal to one by one plus j f by f f by f naught. In first question, they have given ideal loop of filter. The for corresponding frequency characteristics are unit magnitude and the cut off frequency equal to minus three to b. In second question, the brand of filter they have given, but they have mentioned the frequency characteristics of the filter. In third question, they clearly mention the practical loop of RC filter. That is nothing but how to consider the corresponding transfer function equal to one by one plus j f by f naught. One by one plus j f by f naught. Like this, the question will be appear. Like this, the question will be appear. How can you read the band pass filter from the low pass filter and high pass filter? The condition one more question is important. Brother. Band pass filter. Band pass filter is nothing but band pass filter is nothing but it allows some it passes some part of frequency. This is called lower cut off frequency and this is a lower higher cut off frequency. And corresponding here is called lower cut off frequency and here is called higher cut off frequency. What about the band stop filter? Band stop filter is nothing but Band stop filter. What about the band stop filter? This band stop filter is nothing but simply, simply this equal to minus f h two higher cut off frequency, and after that this is some lower cut off frequency like this, like this they have. So what about this f l and f h? f l and f h f h is the higher cut off frequency of the low pass filter. Higher cut off frequency of the what is low pass filter? Low pass filter is nothing but like this low higher cut off higher cut off frequency. This is higher cut off frequency, and what about the high pass filter? So simply you can you can consider you know a higher frequency this is a lower cut off frequency this is a lower cut off frequency these are the corresponding high pass low pass filter high pass filter band pass filter and the band stop filter okay listen here directly you can write this high pass filter can be can be converted to one minus low pass filter right or not throw away is one plus um, uh, subtracting from one this part we have this one only high pass filter is equal to one minus low pass filter we can call we can Consider now what about this one band pass filter? This band pass filter is called simply multiplication of these two only low pass filter and the high pass filter. Multiplication of this low pass filter and the high pass filter in two conditions. F H may be greater than F L or may be less than F L. May be less than F L. Band pass filter is nothing but simply cascading of the low pass filter and the high pass filter. Simply cascading of the low pass filter and the high pass filter in time domain. That is convolution. Cascading is convolution. We we are in the frequency domain, the frequency point of view. So the corresponding band pass filter is called simply multiplication of the low pass filter and the low pass filter and the high pass filter. Don't consider cascading is convolution. Of course, convolution is the time domain. 
Okay, the corresponding convolution will become multiplication of frequency domain. This is equal to simply multiplication of these two, multiplication of these two. Now, I am considering the condition that FH is less than FL, FL, FH is less than FL, then what will happen? The corresponding low cost factor gap is equal to minus FH to FH is this one. And the corresponding high cost is equal to this is FL, and this is minus FL. For condition is that FH is less than FL. Upon multiplying these two, what you will get? Upon multiplying these two, what you will get? Minus FH to FH, something is there, nothing is there here. Okay, after FH, something is there, nothing is there here. So, this the next point is equal to nothing will be obtained, nothing will be obtained. If you consider this FH is less than FH, this FH is greater than FH, then how can you calculate? How can you, or what you will get upon multiplication? This is your minus FH, this is your FH, upon multiplying this one with FH. This is your minus FL. Minus FL. Just simply multiply these two. You have the you have particular one only. This is equal to FL to FH and uh, FL to FH and minus FL to minus FH. Minus FH. This is your characteristics of the band pass filter. So band pass filter is the cascading of low pass filter and high pass filter. With the condition is that FH should be greater than FL in options they will give you. FH equal to FL, FH greater than FL, FH less than FL, and something they will give you. The other situation, the condition is that definitely. It should satisfy FH should be greater than the FL. FH should be greater than the FL. Right. Right. Now coming to band stop filter. Again, obtain the band stop filter from this low pass filter and the high pass filter. Low pass filter and high pass filter. This is by looking only you can say it is looking like an addition of these two only. Right. Addition of these two only. Right. It's in nothing but in single point of view. Parallel connection. Parallel connection. This is a parallel connection of the low pass filter and the high pass filter. Parallel connection of the Low pass filter and high pass filter. This is our band stop filter. Parallel with the condition is that now I am considering the condition is that FH is FH is less than FL. I am considering FH is less than FL. I am considering so the corresponding low pass filter equal to this one. This is minus FH to FH and the corresponding high pass filter is equal to this one. FL to minus FL by adding these two you have by adding these two you have the condition FH. Minus ever by adding these two, you have the characteristic of the band stop filter. If you consider FH is greater than FL, FH is greater than FL, then what will happen? FH is greater than FL, then what will happen? If FH is greater than FL, what will happen? Try to do. FH is greater than FL is nothing but simply is equal to minus FH to FH. Simple only, you know, minus FH, this is FH, and this is your FL, and this is your Minus FL. Upon adding these two, what you will get? Upon adding these two, you have you have this exact thing. You have PL up to this, up to this FL. This is your minus FL, and after that you will get like this. So let's pass. Is it here? Is it a characteristic of band stop filter? No, this part will be up here, and this part is because this FH is FH is greater than FL. This FH is greater than FL. So for this part, this is consider one. This is consider one. From after this, after after up, up, up to this part, up to this part, this value is equal to 2, this value is equal to 2 and again 1. So here 1, 2 and again 1, 1, 2, again 1. Is actually it is looking like a bad stop filter or not? No, it is not looking like a bad stop filter. Got it? You have the condition is that FH is greater than FL. FH is greater than FL. This is your FH low pass filter. And the corresponding FL is should be like this since FL is less than FL. Less than FL. This is your minus FL upon adding these two. Upon adding these two. Up to FL, we have the magnitude is equal to 1 because of this one. Because of this one. After that, for this point, 1 plus 1 will become 2. 1 plus 1 will become 2. And after that, again it reduces to 0. Again it reduces to 0. Simple, simple signal addition. It is looking at the band stop filter? No. Band stop filter? No. So, for this condition, FH is parallel connection to the low pass filter and the high pass filter with FH is less than FL. Here is the, here is the cascading of the low pass and high pass filter. FH is greater than FL. One more filter we are having is the all pass filter. All pass filter we will see clearly in the Laplace transform and jet transform. Then, this is about the filter concept. Then, What are the transfer characteristics of a high pass filter? For low pass filter, we have 1 by 1 plus j f by f naught. What about the high pass filter? This is equal to 1 by 1 minus j f naught by f. That is nothing but for low pass filter, f, f by fh. For high pass filter, 1 minus j fl by f. 1 by 1 minus j fl by f. For high pass filter. The high pass filter dimension we have to consider like this.
the conjunction like we expect the cosine of the hypotenuse the same so everything is same but only the transfer function is different that that is if the practical transfer function is different that's the nothing is there right right then next one page delay and group delay page delay and group delay sometimes you can call this as a carrier delay also carrier delay also and sometimes this is called the signal delay that is message delay group delay or message delay those are same only in geometry if you see if you see carrier delay that is also correspond to page delay only and message delay that is corresponding to group delay only the page delay equal to simply we have minus pi of omega divided by omega is the page delay is the page representation is equal to tau g and minus pi of omega divided by d omega which is equal to your group delay uh, which is your group delay which is represented by tau g nothing is a simple formula tau p is equal to minus pi omega by omega and tau g equal to minus pi omega by minus d by omega divided by d omega differentiation of this one d minus d by omega by d omega which is your corresponding p equal to constant the corresponding vector is called the linear phase response if this is constant is very important so the following satisfy the linear phase response then you have to calculate the corresponding by corresponding group delay group delay is constant then you can call that is a constant that is a linear phase response now consider the distortion of the transmission line consider the distortion of the transmission line what is the phase delay take a person what is the phase delay and group delay of the distortion of the transmission line distortion of the transmission line is nothing but y of x of t is input y of t equal to a into x of t minus t naught or t plus t naught into x of t minus t naught or t plus t naught is equal to t minus t naught here is acceptable advance is not acceptable already we have seen eight x of t minus t naught so corresponding angle of angle of y of omega is equal to angle of y of omega is equal to minus omega tau naught minus omega tau naught so this can be represented as a pi of omega the corresponding phase delay is equal to pi of omega divided by omega which is equal to minus tau naught the group delay is equal to d pi of omega divided by d omega Which is equal to again minus tau naught only. Group delay and phase delay is constant, and you can say as group delay is constant. So that's why distortion of transmission line can be treated as a linear phase response. Linear response can be treated can be treated as a linear phase response. Now take a question. Angle pi of f they have given as a pi of f is equal to minus two pi alpha into f minus f c alpha into f minus f c minus two pi. beta minus 2 pi beta of c they have given some uh, some filter whose frequency ka phase characteristic phase characteristic is equal to minus 2 pi uh, alpha f minus fc minus 2 pi beta fc where fc is the carrier frequency where fc is the carrier frequency the carrier frequency measure frequency this terminology we will again we will repeat in the communication system don't worry what is carrier what is carrier frequency no problem we will see in the communication system clearly fc is the carrier frequency and fc is the signal frequency or measure signal frequency If you have measure signal frequency, if you measure signal frequency, then they are asking what is the they are asking what is the signal delay? What is the signal delay? Signal delay is nothing but you have message delay. They are asking message delay. Message delay means you have group delay. To tau g they are asking this tau g equal to what is tau g? This tau g is equal to d pi of omega minus d d pi pi of omega divided by d omega in terms of frequency they have given. So this can be represented as minus d pi of omega divided by 2 pi df 2 pi df dot consider this equal to in terms of omega if you represent consider in the frequency point of view minus d pi of f divided by 2 pi into df 2 pi into df this is the corresponding group delay of, of doing this integration doing this integration by treating fc as constant the fc as constant you have to integrate this equal to minus 2 pi the what is the integration you will get minus 2 pi alpha minus 2 pi differentiation of this one Differentiation of pi d pi of d pi of f divided by d pi is equal to simply minus one by two pi into minus one by two pi into minus two pi alpha. You will get this value is equal to alpha. Corresponding group delay is equal to alpha. Here the uh, this is not the big matter. Formulas are important. Phase delay and the group delay. Phase delay are carrier delay. Phase delay are carrier delay. Group delay are message delay. The condition group delay is constant. The corresponding corresponding vector is having the linear phase response. Corresponding vector is having the linear phase response. And and with respect to f, we have to consider this two pi also. Don't write only minus d pi of f divided by d f. Only d pi of f divided by d f because because pi of omega equal to we can write in pi of f the corresponding omega will become two pi of d omega equal to two pi d f. Two pi d f nothing is there. 
Ini kita lagi lagi yang actually. Now one more question consider. The signal x of t is given as. The signal x of t is given as. Signal x of t is given as the shape is like this. The corresponding value is equal to one by four. Here is equal to minus one by four, and amplitude is equal to four. This is the signal they have given. Signal they have given. They are asking what is the energy of the signal. They are asking what is the energy of the signal. Energy of the signal. X of minus three t minus one divided by two. What is the energy of x of minus three t minus one divided by two? This x of t they have given. They are asking energy of the signal x of minus three t minus one divided by two. Okay, right. This is looking like a sampling function only. Right. Looking like a sinc function we can call. Sinc function we can call. The corresponding sinc value is equal to simply four into sinc. Okay, let me represent four into. Try to represent this one. Four into sinc four t. Four into sinc four t. Since if substitute t equal to one by four, t equal to one by four, four will get cancelled. And if we get this, can be represented as the four into sampling of four pi t. That nothing but four into sine of four pi t divided by four pi. If substitute t equal to one by four, the corresponding value will become zero. It is satisfying. It is satisfying, right? The corresponding value will become and that is satisfying, right? So look, this is this is the signal x of t equal to x of t equal to four sine co. Four sine co. Four sampling of I am writing. Four sampling of four pi t. Four pi t. The corresponding frequency spectrum you know. Now directly you can write energy is equal to one by two pi. One by two pi into uh, integration minus infinity infinity x of m four square d f x of m four square d f. From that you can directly write. Now what is this four into sampling of four pi t? Well the dr is property four into sampling of four pi omega four pi omega. The corresponding is bit uh, omega into Omega into bit two by two, bit two by two is equal to four by. So bit two is equal to minus eight by. So this is from minus four by two, four by, and a is equal to four. So a into eight by is equal to four. I am going to this as some a in amplitude a a into eight by is equal to four. So a is equal to one by two by. A is equal to one by two by. Upon doing the duality, we have to multiply with two by. This will become one, and the corresponding t will become over minus omega. We got to minus four pi to four pi, minus four pi to four pi. From this, this energy of this x of t can be represented as the energy of x of t equal to simply one by two pi into one by two pi into x of y four square one square equal to one only. We have eight pi one by two pi into eight pi. This value is equal to four. This value is equal to how much? Four. But what we want? What we want? We want energy of the signal e of x of minus three t minus one divided by two. So x of minus three by two t. Minus three by two t minus one by two minus one by two. What is the? If the signal x of t having the energy e having the energy e, what is the energy of the signal x of e t plus b? We got to simply e by e. Already we have seen simply e by e. Already we have seen. So this value is got to simply four divided by three by two. This will become eight by three. Whatever the answer you will get, that will be zero two point six something you will get. Okay, the purpose is that no need to calculate the x of 3t minus 1 divided by 2. Already we are having. If suppose they given if, uh, some f, some x of t, some x of t we calculate the power. Then if they ask you the power of x of minus 3t minus 1 divided by 2, what is the power of this one? Power of power of x of 8t plus b. If x of t having the power p, then what about the power of this x of 8t plus b? Which is equal to simply p only. Which is equal to simply p only. Do you remember this one? Okay, don't be confused. If something they will give you x of minus three t minus one by two. Already we have done one question also. Already we have done one question. But the previous question only. That get fifteen are like that. Fifteen are sixteen. That previous the previous question only I have taken one example. Okay. Now for uh, how or everything we have proved. If you want, go to the previous classes. Then. Where you are from? What was the name? Only correlation. The correlation we will see in the random variables. The correlation topic linked to the Fourier transform that we will see in the random variables.
So consider this one. X of P is a periodic signal. Consider X of P is a periodic signal. Given as input to the given as input to the filter, two transfer characteristics which are omega given to the input to the LDA filter, this is omega equal to e to the power j omega plus e to the power minus j omega. Output is also a periodic. Output is also a periodic with the same period. Output is also a periodic with the same period. Let us consider BK is the exponential Fourier series coefficient. BK is the exponential Fourier series coefficient as output. BK is exponential Fourier series coefficient as output. Then what is the magnitude of B5? What is the magnitude of B5? They are asking. Okay. The given x of the signal is like this. The periodic signal given x of the signal is minus 5, 5, 2.5, 0. Five. This is the signal they have given. A periodic signal they have given. Right. A period is equal to 10. Period equal to 10 is by saying you can say. Period is equal to 10. And the corresponding BKE output is also a periodic signal. Of course, periodic signal only. The BKE is exponential for a series coefficient of the output. Then they are asking that B5. They are asking that B5. Here, HF omega equal to directly, you can write HF omega equal to simply 2 cos omega. 2 cos omega, right? E for J omega plus E for minus J omega by equal to cos omega. This value equal to simply 2 cos omega. 2 cos omega and they are asking the about they are concentrating about the B5. Okay. If the what is the output of this one? 2 cos omega and what is the output of this one? Output of this signal. Here this 2 cos omega is nothing but the corresponding spectrum is equal to at minus omega and 2, two cos omega now we can consider the corresponding amplitude is equal to minus omega and plus, uh, plus omega and minus omega whose amplitude is equal to whose amplitude is equal to 1 1 whose amplitude is equal to 1 1 if you if you calculate the corresponding frequency spectrum of the CK, the corresponding frequency spectrum of the CK, here the corresponding output is equal to simply the corresponding output is equal to simply the multiplication of this the spectrum CK and the multiplication of the spectrum H of omega, multiplication of the spectrum H of omega, right? H of omega, right? So if you represent the corresponding B5, B5 in the input signal is equal to simply B5 into e to the power j 2 pi by t 2 pi by t into corresponding corresponding B5 is equal to the magnitude. The corresponding B5 is equal to your formula is the 1 by t naught into integration minus t naught by 2 to t naught by 2 minus t naught by 2 t naught by 2 you can write it directly I am writing 1 by 10 integration minus 5 to 5 x of t into e to the power minus j 2 pi by t 2 pi by t equal to 10 into 2 pi by t minus j n omega naught t n omega naught t this n value is equal to 5 here since they are concentrating about the b5 5 into t 5 into t so this value is equal to 1 by 10 integration minus 5 to 5 x of t into integration minus 5 to 5 x of t into e to the power minus j pi t minus j pi t e to the power minus j pi t this is the value b5 this b5 is given as an input to this cost this input to this 2 cos omega input to this 2 cos omega then what is the output what is the output the corresponding term x of t can be represented as the the corresponding reason the corresponding x of t x of t of this fifth harmonic one i am concentrating is equal to b5 into e to the power j 2 pi by 10 2 pi by 10 into 5 into t this is the corresponding x of t for this this having some run of fundamental harmonic or some harmonics are there we are concentrating about the b5 about the fifth harmonic only the corresponding x of t equal to b5 by t for j 2 pi by 10 pi t the corresponding b5 equal to this one this is given as the input to this is given as the input to this filter this is given as input to this filter what is the corresponding output what is the corresponding output? This is the PSR only, right? This is of the PSR only, right? This is the format e power j omega naught t, j omega naught t. The corresponding output will be become simply 2b5, 2b5 cos omega naught, cos omega naught. This omega naught is equal to how cos omega equal to this, this, this is nothing but 5 pi cancel cos pi into e to the power j 2 pi by 5, 2 pi by 10, 5t, 2 pi by 10, 5t. This is the output y of t, corresponding output expression y of t. So this value is equal to simply 2b5 minus cos pi equal to minus 1 only. 
with the minus 2 b by then ask the magnitude of this one the corresponding magnitude is equal to simply 2 into b by corresponding magnitude is equal to simply 2 into b by b by is the input term b by is the input input component input component they are asking the b by at the output the corresponding magnitude b by is equal to simply the corresponding magnitude b by into the magnitude will appear from this one 2 into cos omega naught equal to here equal to pi 2 cos pi is equal to minus 1 so minus into 2 b by the corresponding is equal to 2 b by now for intention is to calculate the b by only from this expression we can calculate the b by by writing this equal to 1 this equal to 1 by 10 into integration minus 5 to 2 point minus 5 to minus 2.5 2.5 this value they have given as the value they have given pi 1 minus pi the value they have given as pi 1 minus pi so this value is equal to uh, uh, minus 5 into e to the power minus j pi t dt plus integration minus 2.5 to 2.5 this pi into e to the power minus j pi t plus integration 2.5 to pi minus 5 into e to the power minus pi minus pi minus j pi t dt this expression by, by you can simply calculate simple simplification only Nothing is there. After simplification, you will get this value is equal to simply this value is equal to simply uh, 2, 2 by pi sin pi sin pi pi by t you will get. This b pi is equal to 2 by 5 by simplification try to do 2 by 5 sin pi by 2 sin 5 pi by 2. Though this value is equal to 2 by pi into sin of 2 pi plus pi by 2, this value is equal to 1, 2 by 5 you will get. This guy, this is your B5 of the input signal. B5 of the input term, input signal. Then the corresponding B5 of the output signal is equal to corresponding B5 of the output signal is equal to 2 into minus 2 into B5. So this is equal to minus 2 into 2 by 5. This value is equal to minus 4 by 5. They are asked about the magnitude of B5 is equal to simply 4 by 5. Simply 4 by 5, whatever the answer you will get. But this time they will ask you what is the what is the magnitude of the fifth harmonic or magnitude of the sixth harmonic or whatever I already told you. This type of process will appear. This type of process will appear. Some, some signal they will give you. This is extra part actually. Some signal they will give you. They will ask you what is the magnitude of the what is the magnitude of the B5? What is the magnitude of B5? At that situation, you have to calculate BK and by substituting K equal to 5, you will get the value. You will get the value. Up to this one question. Okay, you will get the value 2 by 5. If this 2 by 5, the corresponding signal is equal to 2 by 5 into e power j. With this the fifth harmonic magnitude 2 by 5, the corresponding signal is equal to 2 by 5 into e power j to this one, this one. This signal is passing through the filter. This signal is passing through this filter whose characteristics are 2 cos omega. 2 cos omega. This, this is the PSR function. PSR function is already we have seen. In Fourier transform, what is the output of that? Output of that equal to PSR only with the magnitude multiplication of the phase addition. Magnitude multiplication of the phase addition. The corresponding magnitude is equal to simply multiplication of these two. And phase equal to, we have to add at particular frequency. At particular frequency, phase equal to all things. Here yes, nothing is there, phase equal to 0 only. So, sir, don't bother, don't bother. So, the corresponding value is equal to 2 by 5 cos pi. Omega equal to pi here. The cos pi is equal to 4 by 5. This is the 1 more cosine, 2 mass cosine. So, 2, 2 mass cosine may be included here. May they, may they will give you as a 1, 2 mass cosine. Okay? Simple cosine only, simple concept. Simple concept. Next one. Next very important cosine that is. That model also already we have seen. Given y of, uh, y of t equal to x of t plus 1 by 2. y of t is equal to x of t plus 1 by 2. This type of question, two, two, two questions we have done in the CDFT and one, one question we have done in the DTFT. One question we have done in the DTFT. Listen, y of t equal to x of t plus t by 2, where y of t is given as the, where y of t is given as like this 0 to 2, like this they have given. Then they are asking what is the argument of x of omega? What is the argument of x of omega? What is the argument of x of omega? They are asking. They are asking. For these type of questions, for these type of questions, I told you already, just observe the given signal, which is 0 to t, which is neither, neither even nor odd. If you try to, you are in position to try to convert this into the event, the corresponding signal is not, the corresponding, the corresponding angle is equal to 0, the corresponding phase is equal to 0 for the even signal because for the even signal the corresponding Fourier transform is having only, only the real part, only the real part is nothing but only the real part is nothing but corresponding phase is equal to 0. So this I am going to represent g of t equal to some signal I am considering, g of t equal to some signal I am considering minus 1 to 1, the amplitude is equal to 1 and y of t can be referred this is the even signal right this is the even signal right and pair so clearly phase of the signal is equal to 0 and y of t I am written as the g of t plus g of t minus 1, y of t is equal to g of t minus 1. Now I am writing here, 
in place of y of t, the g of t minus 1. So, g of t minus 1 is equal to x of t plus 1 by 2. x of t plus 1 by 2 by taking the Fourier transform of this one. This one will become g of omega, g of omega, g of omega into e to the power minus j omega. If by shifting property for minus j omega, this equal to x of omega into e to the power j omega by 2 is equal to j omega by 2. Don't bother about the magnitude. They are concentrating about the angle. So, this is equal to angle of g of omega into angle of g of omega minus j omega. This is equal to product of two terms. This angle plus this angle. So, angle of j omega minus j omega is equal to angle of x of omega plus j omega plus omega by 2. Plus omega by 2. If j j by nothing but phase is equal to theta only. Plus omega by 2. Plus omega by 2. From this, what is the angle of this angle? Angle of the omega as the signal of the even nature. The signal is the even, even the corresponding phase is equal to zero. Corresponding phase and angle is equal to zero. So this angle is equal to zero. Minus omega equal to simple cosine, simple cosine, simple concept of the cosine. So this is equal to angle of x of omega equal to minus three omega by two or minus three omega by two. If you want this type of process already we already do in the CTFT and the one is in the DTFT, one is in the DTFT, they give us some expression, we have converted us into the even signal, from that topic we have analyzed the argument, we have analyzed the argument, alright.